the amazing thing about Web 1.0, right, was all of a sudden everything was available online. Information was accessible. You could get it on your own terms when you wanted it. It was permanent and instantaneous at the same time. So the notion that there was only one way to deliver information and to, and to access information got blown up. And space and time in, in real, this is not theory, we're not talking, you know, Einstein theory, space and time fundamentally changed. And it was great. It was freeing. It was liberating. And, but, it was, but it was still limited in its dimensionality. It was basically two-dimensional. Web 2.0 made it three-dimensional. Because all of a sudden you add this component of interactivity and the customer is in charge and the customer drives and open systems beat closed systems is basically participatory, interactive, open communication, dialogue, real-time, personal participation in the life of information creation, sharing, evaluation, boom. So you took something that exploded time space and add another dimension, which is you're stepping inside of it. It's almost, I mean, I don't want to be too, I don't know that much about physics, but what I know about physics is uh, when you go into quantum physics, the game changes because the participant determines the outcome of the experiment. That's Web 2.0, okay? It's no longer changing space-time, it's reinventing reality so that the participant determines the outcome of the experiment. And that blew the game open even more. What happens with 3.0, 4.0, I am waiting to see. Uh, stay, uh, as my friend Keith Yamashita used to say, watch this space. Mm -hmm.